What I like about it is, I don't think Paul was bragging. I don't think he was complaining. I think he was just stating the truth. I worked harder than all of them. Yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. That verse ministers to me on so many different levels. I would give anything if I could like go back in time and be there with him and like sit down, just row to bro. Unpack that for me, man. Tell me what you mean by that. What do you mean you work harder? And I can imagine him saying like, well, okay, you know, I'm not bragging, but you know, while other people went to bed, I probably stayed up a little later praying, strategizing. I got up a little earlier and got in the office, you know, really to do things right for God. While others took a shortcut, I always tried to do the right thing. I memorized so much of God's word. I hid it in my heart. I let it renew my mind. I focused on his word. I think if you could look at this um, kind of objectively and step back, what you would find is you would probably say, Paul was not wishing his current season away. Wherever he was, he was all there. Whatever he did, he was doing for the glory of God. When he was in prison, he didn't say, one day, when I'm finally out of prison, then I can get back to doing what I'm called to do. No, he just said, whatever you do, I'm gonna do it for the glory of God. If there's someone chained up to me, I'm gonna be a witness to that person right now. I'm writing the Philippians a letter because they need it. I'm just gonna do whatever I have to do. I don't know how this would apply to you, but you're, you're changing diapers, you're making sales calls, you're doing laundry. You just say in this moment at this time, even though it may not be incredibly sexy from the outside, I'm doing it with integrity, with the purity of heart, with the heart of a servant, and I'm declaring that this task is now for the glory of God. And when you live this way, suddenly you wake up and you start to realize, wow, maybe the work is the reward. Maybe the prize is in the process. And in everyday life, when you're grinding it out, doing just normal things, you can say, I can be grateful. And as I serve him faithfully in his purpose, the passion follows because I'm not doing it for me and I'm doing it all for him. And then one day I wake up in the middle of the Monday and I say, God, I have experienced you here and I am full of your goodness and overflowing with your joy because I've discovered that the work is the reward. It's a joy to serve you and to sacrifice for your kingdom. The prize is in the process. You are with me. Your spirit is guiding me and strengthening me. And I am grateful in the grind. The prize is now. The prize is here. This is the day that the Lord has made. And because of the grace of God,